Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS STTM programming. In this video, we will see how to derive DTHFL and DTHDTC variables in SDTM DM dataset. Let us now move to the background. So we know that SDTM DM domain is used to capture some important demographics related variables and certain key date variables of the subject. DTHDTC is one such key date variable. This is used to capture the date and time of death of a subject if the subject has died on the study. So along with DTHDTC, a flag named DTHFL is also created to indicate the death of a subject. And so DTHFL would be assigned a value of Y if the subject has died while he or she is on the study. So these variables will be derived using the raw data set corresponding to the end of study case report form. So there can be other cases wherein the specification authors may refer to the uh, death details related page and also adverse events related page because every uh, death there will be an associated adverse event has to be captured in AE data set and the outcome of that adverse event would be flagged as fatal. So we can even in fact use the information coming from AE forms or death details forms where necessary. But if the subject has died on the study, it should mandatorily be entered as a reason for discontinuation on the study. So using the end of study case report form should be sufficient enough on most of the cases. So what do we learn in this lesson? So in this lesson, we will see an approach on how DTH, DTC and DTHFL can be derived in STTM DM domain. So we will be using two input data set. The first one is Demog data set and the second one is EOS data set. So Demog data set contains a list of subjects who participated in the study. And EOS data set contains the subjects completion or discontinuation status of the study along with the reason for discontinuation if the subject has not completed the study. So now let us go ahead and take a look at the input data sets structure that we will be seeing. So here we have our demographics data set. It contains one record per subject and it has some additional demographics related information. And then we have the second input data set that we will be using is EOS data set, which is corresponding to the end of study case report form. So here in this form, we have uh, EO term variable which is used to capture the subject's completion status or whether if the subject discontinued the reason for discontinuation is captured in this variable. So if the subject has died on the study the reason for discontinuation would be captured as death in this variable. So along with that the date when the subject completed or discontinued the study is present in this variable EOS ST DT underscore raw. So let us now take a look at the specification. So we are deriving two variables. The first one is DTHFL and the second one is DTHDTC. So for the DTHFL variable, it says populate as Y if there exists a record in EOS dataset with EO term is equal to death. And for DTHDTC, we are being asked to populate using EOS dot EOSTDT underscore raw where EO term is equal to death. So let us now come back to the US data set once and see. So here we are being asked to check if there exists a record for a subject with EO term is equal to death. And if it is present, then we are being asked to populate it as Y in demographics data set. And if then uh, on that record where EO term is equal to death, the corresponding value from EOSTDT raw should be used to populate DTHDTC. So now let us move to the form output and try to manually uh, identify the DTHDTC and DTHFL for the subjects who had death on the study. So let us now go to the EOS data set once again and then try to filter for death. So we only have one record with EO term is equal to death across all the records present in EOS and that is for subject 1003. So for this subject 1003 we need to populate DTHFL as Y and we need to populate the DTH DTC using this value in ISO 8601 format. It is 5th Jan 2010. 
Now let us come to the form output and try to fill in the details for subject 1003. So subject 1003 had a record in EOS with EO term is equal to death. So this subject would get a value of Y in DTHFL. And DTH DTC, it was on 5th Jan. So ISO 8601 notation for 5th Jan 2010 is 2010-01 for January and 05 for the day component. So we have finally identified the death date and death flag for the subjects who died on the study. And now let us move to the programming and see how this can be achieved. So the first thing that we need to do is to subset the records from EOS dataset where EO term is equal to death. So we can make use of if statement or where statement or where clause on the uh, that where clause uh, as a data set option or where is equal to data set option either on set statement or uh, data statement so we can use whatever subset condition which we are comfortable with so here i am trying to filter using where statement where your term is equal to death and then here i am creating this variable because we were asked to use the EOSST, EOSTDT underscore raw variable to populate DTSDTC. So I am creating DTSDTC using EOSTDT raw. So as EOSTDT raw is in a character format, but the values inside it are in date level format. So I am converting EOSTDT raw to a numeric date value first using input function and then converting it in back into a character date value in YYMMDD 10 dot. We know that if we only have date portion in a uh, ISO 8601 format, it is equivalent to the SAS YYMMDD 10 dot format. So and what we need to do next is just merge this EOS 01 data set to our democ data set at subject and at subject level. Now we are identifying the subject using study and PT level variables. So we are merging our EOS 01 data set to democ data set at study and PT level and keeping all the records which are coming from democ data set and then what we know is if a record is present in us01 for a subject so which means that the subject has a death record in EO term on those records we need to populate dthfl is equal to y so here i am making use of this n is equal to operator to create a temporary variable named b to identify the study and pt values coming from us01 so if B will be one for the subjects who are coming from EOS 01. So if B, then DTHFL is equal to Y. This is what we were asked to populate. So for all the subjects who has a record in EOS where EO term is equal to death will be present in EOS 01. So B is equal to one indicates that the record is present in EOS 01. And on all those subjects, we need to have DTHFL is equal to Y. So now let us take a look at the intermediate data sets that were getting created out of this. So we, let me, this was EOS data set which had records for some subjects and then under EOS 01. So if we see, so we were subsetting it for the records where EO term is equal to death. As there was only one record with EO term is equal to death, we had that record in our EOS 01 data set. And then here we have used EOSTDT raw to create DTSDTC variable. And then in the next step, we merge this data set to our democ data set and created DM01 data set. So here as subject 1003 had a record in ES01. So for that subject, we have populated death flag as Y. And as there was a matching record, DTHDTC was pulled from EOS01 into this data set. So this is how we can create DTHFL and DTHDTC in SDTM demographics domain. So thank you for watching and keep learning.